morning. Oh my gosh. People need to learn how to drive in LA. Let me tell y'all something. Driving in LA is the scariest thing ever. But nevertheless, it's a great morning. I'm up early. Y'all know I'm in a good mood because I got my celery and lemon juice. Ah, oh, delicious. Anyways, I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna just pick up something really quick. My favorite breakfast, it's actually something that I eat before I work out, after I work out, in the middle of the day, all the damn time. It's like one of my favorite meals. It's super quick, super easy, and I'm gonna teach y'all how to make it so that, you know, this round is about to be, I don't know if it's about to be over, but I know that they're like slowly opening up California. It's phase two on Friday. So I just wanna be ready. I want my body ready. I want y'all's bodies ready. So follow me to Trader Joe's. When I get in there, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna pick out. And then when I get home, I'm gonna show you how I cook it. Okay. Oh, All right, you guys, I'm about to go into Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get something really quick, just what I need for this meal. This is not gonna be a full haul. Just a real quick, okay? I eat this meal all the time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever I'm working on those games. Okay, so follow me in there. I'm about, of course, I'm gonna have my Rona mask on. You already know. One of them ones, organiclifestyle.com. Get you one. All right. Let's get it. Cook with, I'll put on this one. I'll put on these 
Alright, here we go. I only really cook with brown eggs. I feel like they're better for you. I just feel more healthy when I'm using them. Anyways, I put this on medium. Okay? And I'm going to spray a little bit of organic, simple truth, extra virgin olive oil on there. Okay? Now, the thing is, I'm going to show y'all a couple ways to do this. I am a hungry hippo woman, so you know that I eat a lot of eggs. I usually, usually each time I eat this, eat like four or five. I need that protein, and I'm like, I just need, you wouldn't be able to tell, but I can eat a lot more than anybody you know. So I'm going to make these eggs a couple different ways. Um, I usually pick only one when I'm eating it, but like, I make it a couple just for this. Um, first way, also I'm going to need a little bit of spinach. I'm not going to open the one that I actually got from Trader Joe's just because I'm going to finish this spinach first. But, yeah. So, first, you put a little bit of spinach. Turn this down a little bit when you first put the spinach on, okay? Put it on there. All right, I'm only making enough spinach for one. Move it back for a second just so it can cool it down. And you're gonna use a little bit of garlic salt. You're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on. Okay, just a little bit, you don't need a lot. Since the spinach season quickly, like I said, you only need a little bit. And then you're gonna get your spatula. Don't make fun of my spatula. I know it's old, I know it's not cute, but this is actually the spatula I had when I moved into my first apartment when I was 18, back in St. Louis, so it's kind of sentimental. I have like nice ones, but I just like to cook with this. So I'm just kind of moving it around, and then once you get it to right about here, what I like to do is I put it in a nice little circle. Okay, I'm only gonna do it for one, just so you can see. A nice little circle. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one egg, okay? Crack it like this, open, so I'm gonna make it over medium. All right, and then I just put it on there. I'm gonna turn this back up from low to medium. Okay? Now the other way, if you don't want the spinach, is to, all right, open it, crack it the same way I want it over medium, so you just gotta make sure that you don't, oh my God, I think I'm about to do it. Don't break the yolk, I didn't break it, I thought I was about to. So, what I do is I let that cook for like a second. Be careful. I told you all before that when you are using those organic eggs, it is going to cook a little bit faster, okay? So you don't want to burn it. Now this quinoa has been in here for four minutes. Take it out, stir it, mix it up. Smells good. It smells so good. Take a look at that. Ooh. Yes. Mm. We're gonna put it back in for three more. All right, you guys. So now you can see my eggs have been on here for a couple minutes. It's about time to flip them. So what I'm gonna do, I got the one, the regular egg. Flip that, okay? You do it lightly, not too hard. I got my finish one, flip that, lightly, not too hard. And now what I like to do, you can do this with or without. I don't eat dairy except for cheese. This is the only kind of dairy I got. Forgot to show you this at Trader Joe's, but it is a sharp cheddar, okay? I either get, like, usually cook with, like, medium or sharp cheddar. So sometimes on the flip over, I will turn this knob down to, like, in between medium and low. And anyway, so what I do is I, once I've flipped it, um, I'm not good at tearing these, but I'll just tear like a square. This is a square, guys. And I'll put it in the middle of my egg. Another one on the other one, okay? And I'll put this back in because it's always gonna be another egg. And so now, as you guys can see, or as you heard, the quinoa's ready. So I'll just put that here. As you can see, I already have one egg done. Okay, put the quinoa there, that's done, that's done. And then you just kinda gotta feel for this, like, okay, when is, the sides will cook first, okay? But you want the middle to still be runny. I know, I thought it was crazy, like, ew, runny eggs? That sounds 
so gross, but it actually can't hurt you. The only thing that can hurt you with an egg is if the white is not cooked. So as long as the white's cooked, you can have a little bit of runny yolk. And it's actually bomb when it leaks onto the quinoa. So, anyways, let it cook for a second. Test it. The sides will be like a little bit more firm. You can tell they're cooked. All that you need is the inside to be yolky. And even that can be a little bit cooked if you want. It's all up to like your liking, but definitely try it. Don't just think it's gross. So I'm gonna take it off one at a time. Put it over here. Next one, take it off one at a time. Put it over here. And that's actually all I'm gonna cook. I know I said I usually eat three or four, or four or five, I do, but I have my, this is a big celery juice. I don't usually get this big of one, and I had one, so I'm kind of like, almost full. I'm gonna do a workout after this. So now, as you can see, we have this. Bring it over to my little table. Move my good china aside. Now there's one more thing that you need for this. Let me grab it. I'm out, you guys. I don't know. Everywhere I tried to go, I even tried to go to 7-Eleven. They didn't have it. No tapatio. Nobody has tapatio right now. That's my favorite hot sauce. But the cholula will do. Now all that you gotta do to eat it, I always keep this on a separate plate so that I can enjoy them one by one. But I just literally pick one up. Let's start with this one. Pick one up. Put it here. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot sauce on it. Just a little, that's all you need. And then I just kind of cut it open. I don't even with my hands, how gross. She's a savage. All right, cut it open and eat. You can make it with spinach, without spinach, obviously she uses optional as well. However you prefer it, just depends on what I'm feeling like. Sometimes I don't even use the quinoa. I usually do, but like if I'm in a rush or if I just want a snack, I'll just make these spinach ones with the spinach and cheese. And sometimes with no cheese, like if I'm feeling a little bloated, maybe no cheese. All right, you guys, that's all for my video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. And, you know, let me know if y'all want to see some more of my, like, cooking. I've got, you know, quick meals. I've got stuff that takes a little longer. Just let me know what y'all want to see me make, if you want to see me make anything. And after I eat this, I'm going to go run, okay? Because the good thing about this is it's not too heavy. I still feel nice and skinny when I'm done, okay? See y'all later.